Jay Street Moto here. Welcome back to the channel. It's your first time here, welcome to the channel. Like, subscribe, share, click that notification bell. All that stuff helps the channel. Um, so I'm heading over to Wands today. It's uh, it's Sunday. If you guys haven't heard it out, we do have a rhythm that we do. Uh, if David and I ride together, it's usually Saturday. Sometimes David joins Juan and I on Sunday. Um, but Juan has a harder time getting out on Saturdays than Sunday. So Sunday tends to be the day of the week that I get to ride with Juan. So I'm heading over there and I figured that I would uh, vlog the entire day and uh, see what happens. I'm, I'm thinking that if I just keep the cameras rolling constantly and talk the whole time that I'll end up getting, you know, some potentially decent content that I can, you know, put together in a meaningful way and share with you guys. Juan had a good idea when we were out riding last Sunday. Um, I can't remember whether it was last Sunday or, yeah, I think it was last Sunday. He, he was like, you know what you ought to do? You ought to make up some, uh, you know, get some cheap business cards made that have uh, J Street Moto uh, called out on it. And, you know, basically the channel information on the, uh, basically have the channel information printed on a card that I could hand out to people. Like I said, we're going to be planning routes for how we are going up. So, uh, I had an idea the other day. I'm like, I wonder if I put out, you know, Hey, here's, here's where we're going. Here's roughly the day that we're going to be rolling there and give you guys some advance notice. I don't know where, I don't know where the subscribers live, but not all of them at least. Uh, I don't know where you guys live. So it's possible that we would be riding in the vicinity of where you live. And if you wanted to hook up with us and ride along for a little of the way, that'd be cool. Let me, uh, let me see where the Wano wants to go. I'll be right back. Happy birthday, asshole. Yeah, this one wants to come off. Yeah. Where do you want to go? Run 27 out to where you can connect up to 150 with it. And then go back by kickbacks. I mean, there's no big sporting events or anything happening today, I don't think. So kickbacks shouldn't be an insane asylum. I'm going to have to be keeping an eye on this. Because when the battery dies, I'm going to pull over and change it. All right. That works. We're going to head over to uh, Mount Holly in that area. Uh, and then kind of head back east into Mooresville and go to this place called Kickback Jacks. Yeah. Really? What do you want to loop out to? Do you want to take 27 to 73, 73 back to here and hit there to try it out? I'm good with that too. All right. Hey, give me the finger. Give me the finger. There you go. Uh, Juan's birthday was a couple days ago and uh, didn't get to ride with him on his birthday. Didn't even get to talk to him on his birthday, really. Oh, we were just tied up to work, and uh, I had a lot of crap going on too, so didn't really get to really get to connect. So today is our day to connect. Decided to alter our route, and instead of going to Kickback Jack, we're going to. Uh, right now, we're on. Uh, well, we're heading towards Carolina 27, Route 27. We're going to run that road which kind of goes west of where we are kind of goes northwest of where we are but it ends up connecting with another road 73 that uh 
can bring us back over towards Huntersville, and then we can hit that uh, we can hit that little brewery right there in downtown Huntersville. So that's what we're gonna do today. I think is what we're gonna do. I was gonna, then I saw the gravel and the jump, and I'm like, screw it. <clears throat> Asshole. <laughs> you got me back. I'll give you that one. You got me back. Usually Juan leads when we stop at a traffic light at least once during the ride, I'll turn his shit off. <laughs> and I got it on film, and when I was checking the battery, I'm over here looking at this, all of a sudden the bike dies. I won't cut it out, the bike dies, and I'm like, what the fuck, what's wrong with my bike? Go back to how I started this video when I said, the bike started a little rough this morning. I'm like, oh crap, I got something wrong with the bike? And then I thought for a second, I'm like, oh no, I got Juan beside me, probably just shut my bike off. Looked over, the kill switch was hit, so, yeah. Drop it in the comments. Do you guys mess with each other like that at stoplights and such when you're when you're out on rides together? I'm just curious, or if we're the only idiots to do that kind of crap. We, we do it a lot. <laughs> we like to give each other a hard time. Makes life interesting. We're on Mount Holly Huntersville Road still, aren't we? Are we still on Mount Holly? Yeah. Shit. Turn right on sunset. Sorry. It wasn't that. I was talking and just blanked out. <laughs> I, f I wasn't a navigator. Okay. I'll turn right. <laughs> I now understand why I was watching a video the other day by another creator, and uh, he mentioned that he always rides the same loop when he uh, vlogs. We are heading into the beautiful downtown Mount Holly, North Carolina. Uh, nice little town. Today, we are going to try a I don't even know the name of it. I'll have to find out when I get there. There's a new brewery that opened up, like, literally around the corner where I teach uh, my karate classes. And, uh, man, uh, I tell you, uh, it, it looked, every time I pass it, it's freaking hot. And Vaughn told me it, these were great reviews by people he knows that have already been there. Because we were, we were giving it some time, you know. It, it, it literally just opened maybe a week, week and a half ago. So we were giving it some time for them to get the kinks worked out before we decided we were going to try and go there. Turns out that it sounds like the kinks have been worked out since the beginning. So we're going to swing by there on our way home and uh, grab a couple of brewskis. Crap, I can't believe I did not mention this. I, I, holy shit. I, I mean, this is... So today, when I looked at the odometer, uh, I was... The, Exactly, 65,000 miles. Oh yeah, tires. What tires do you put on your bike? That's what I was trying to find out. If you ride a Harley, really if you ride anything, tell me what kind of brand you're running and, and how you like them. Uh, this bike just turned 65,000 miles. I've had it for, uh, well I've had it since, oh, December 30th, 2017. So, five and a half years, 65,000 miles, and that entire time I have run on the kind of tire that came stock on the bike, the Dunlop, that Harley Davidson brand in or whatever. Now I'm finally at a spot where I really need to change both tires so I can switch out brands, and what I'm looking at getting are the mad strips. That's what I'm thinking about getting, the cruise text specifically. I don't think they make the 888s anymore, or I don't think you can find the 888s anywhere. So, um, yeah, 
I'm curious as to what you guys run. Let me know in the comments and how you like them. So yeah, what kind of tires are you running? So the things, I'm starting to do the checklist of all the stuff I gotta do for uh, getting ready for the trip. Specifically to the bike, one of the things is got to get the new tires. That's a that's a must. I have to have the new tires, so I will get those. Um, and then I need to get. It's really time for me to change the spark plugs again. I try to change the plugs in the bike every thirty to thirty-five thousand miles. That's all I do. I've been talking a lot about my trips and the ones that I want to take and, and you know what we're doing this what we're doing this year. Uh, if you guys have taken interesting trips or done something you know you're proud of, done a big long trip. Goats love goats. Goats are funny. Sorry, that's a little moment. But yeah, if you've done any big trips, I'm interested in hearing about them. Drop them in the comments. Where'd you go? How many days were you gone? How many miles did you ride? All right, we are heading to a place called 760 Craft Brews for well, in celebration of Juan's birthday. What's up, dudes? We get Juan to go in front of me. We get Juan to go in front of me. So I can sit in one. <laughs> there we go. So I wanted him to uh, be able to catch him on camera while we're riding today. I don't know how I'm gonna see it. I don't know whether I'm gonna see him with a 360 or not. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, can't figure it out yet. As much as, uh, as much as the old monster likes to play it like he's the, uh, calm, responsible, cool-headed one, he's really kind of a big goof. He is the, the, uh, goof might be the wrong word, maybe more like showbooter. But goof, not more like goof. Oh. Oh, but what he just did made me think of something. Uh, so I'll ask that too. Maybe it'll make it in the video. Maybe it won't. So here's the question I got for you guys. If you're watching this and you're still hanging around, appreciate it. So uh, how many of you have something that you do special when you cross state lines? Now, I'll give you an example of what I'm talking about. Juan has this thing where whenever he crosses state lines, he lifts his feet off the bike like that as he's crossing the state line. Uh, it's just something he does. Uh, David and I do it from time to time just to copy him, you know. And, uh, but yeah, I'm curious. I tend to raise both hands when I cross the state line. Oh. Um, or, you know, do a freaking, yeah, fist pound or whatever in the air. Um. So yeah, I'm curious if anybody else does stuff like that. Just curious. Uh, I'd also be curious to know, because it's something we've never done, and, and and I'm a little, I won't say disappointed, but I'm a little, uh, one of those things I wish we had done. Um, on all these trips we've taken, we have never, no, we will stop on the side of the road from time to time and take pictures, we have never stopped in front of the sign for the state where you're crossing into the state to take our picture with the bikes and the state sign. We haven't done that. I just wanted to get you in front of me for a little while. I just wanted to get you on video in front of me for a little while. I wanted to get you in front of me on video for a little while. I got to one that. Hey, yo! Went out this morning to start the bike and record the mileage for my app. Yesterday when I got back from the dojo, it was exactly 65,000 miles. <laughs> I mean, what are the odds you're going to stop it, right? That's like stopping and both your valves are down. <laughs> that'd be another thing. That'd be another interesting question. 
kind of, because because I've noticed when I ride around the country, I've noticed that uh, not all places are equal when it comes to how people drive. Uh, in particular, there are some places where the drivers are way much better than others. And I got to tell you, Charlotte definitely ranks towards the bottom. The Charlotte metro area definitely ranks towards the bottom for uh, how good the drivers are. Um, oddly enough, uh, places like Oklahoma and uh, uh Arkansas, uh, northern Texas, at least, New Mexico, Arizona, those places, they've got some decent drivers. I mean, we, ne- I've never had any issues there. California, now, now California is a mixed bag because they, they are, there's some people there that, that do a pretty good job driving in California. And because lane splitting is allowed, because lane splitting is allowed, they, uh, they kind of pay attention to you, or they look for motorcycles more frequently than I think other people do, because they, they know there's a possibility you be right beside them. But the California drivers aren't really too bad. Now, keep in mind, I've not ridden in any major city. Um, we, we rode on the outskirts of San Francisco, but I've not been to, like, L.A. and those places to know whether it's better or worse there. So drop a comment where you live and, you know, rank your drive, rate your drivers. Rate them. That would be a good way to put it. What's up, dude? That's a cool life plate. Just kidding. I like that. Just kidding. Oh, here's some scoops. Here we have some. What's up, dude? What's going on? What's going on? What's up, buddy? <laughs> this is going to be an interesting video to edit because I've been recording for well, two hours. Ooh. Oh yeah, it just, it'll be better when they're done. It's just all this. It'll get done. I mean, Juan said he wanted to ride around a lot today, so uh, now we're back to downtown Huntersville. Hello. What up? We're back. All right, I think we are going to park behind my school. I think it's going to park. That's where we said we were going to park, at least. up at 760 Brewery. Uh, cool place. Cool vibe. Awesome beer. It was a really good beer that we had. Uh, I had the Bob. It was an IPA and it was absolutely fan freaking tastic. I'm not, I'm not kidding. It was a it was a really good IPA. But uh, we finished there. Met some new people. Got a new subscriber. Uh, she's number 305. Um, so that's cool. Uh, but yeah, so we're heading back. Gonna go home, finish out this day. I need to start editing some video, I guess. Probably the right thing to say. So thanks for coming along today. Had a blast. I really enjoyed it. I'm interested to see how this video turns out. Hope you guys liked it. Again, if you're digging the content, like, subscribe, share, click the notification bell. You know, if you're watching this, you're sure you've been on YouTube more than once, so you're used to what everybody's asking. Oh, um, so yeah, there you go. Uh, and always, ride safe.